Hey guys, in this video today, I'm going to take apart one of these controllers. Uh, we have to do it to two specific controllers on the course. Uh, this one's here on One Valley, the other one is Five and Eight Lakes. Uh, we have to do that because uh, here in Indiana, specifically uh, Fishers, where the golf course is located, we're essentially in a floodplain. Uh, we have Mud Creek that runs through the entire course, and whenever we receive any significant rainfall, we the course floods. Um, and this is in a lower area, so when we do get the flooding, this controller uh, can get water sometimes up to here. So what we do in the winter is uh, we strip these boxes down so we can uh, save all the electrical components inside. So inside here are all the OSMS boards, uh, which is each individual uh, board that you see here. Uh, each of these controls eight irrigation stations. Um, so if one of these goes underwater, everything corrodes and basically eight of those sprinklers will no longer work. Uh, first couple years I was here, um, I didn't realize that uh, when we did receive a lot of rainfall in the winter, uh, that these were going underwater. Uh, what happened in the spring is when we fired up, uh, sometimes in the summer, it, uh, I realized some of our sprinklers weren't working. Um, and this is an easy way to prevent that, is just to remove them from the box. We don't remove them during the summer uh, because the ground is dried out. Right now being the winter, everything is saturated so any amount of rainfall causes flooding conditions especially in the spring once uh, things start to thaw out the ground starts thawing out you get those heavy spring rains it's uh, pretty much guaranteed that these are going to go underwater so uh, the difference between that and summer with the ground being dried out if we receive three to even four inches of rain uh, a lot of the times some of that's soaking in while also uh, running off the course at a, a pretty quick rate so uh, in case you're wondering, well, why don't you do that in the summer? That's typically why. So basically when I do this, there's a switch here. I'm going to turn the power off and then you basically start uh, unplugging all the electrical components. All the components out um, you know still there's things like uh, these connectors and everything that are still left in here but those are a lot uh, less expensive to replace than these boards of one of the boards that went underwater. You can see the muckiness of it and what happens 
connections like this get corroded. That's what the bluish green stuff is. Um, this one still worked. Uh, luckily, it's actually, um, th this board, even though there's eight uh, stations on here, there's only one connected to it. And it's actually a really out of play rough sprinkler. So we haven't replaced it. Uh, one, because it surprisingly is still working. And two, um, if it does go down, it, it, it's not going to be a significant uh, area where we would lose turf. Um, not saying I'm going to let it go, but I'm not going to spend, you know, whatever amount of money it is for these things. Like I said, I think it's 500 um, just to get one sprinkler uh, working. So I'll just wait till I do know, in fact, it doesn't work and um, replace it then.